All right, today we're reviewing my absolute favorite piece of camping gear, the Yeti 200X. This is the best thing I own. We're gonna get right into the details of what I've personally got, not what Goal Zero states off their site, because ultimately the only thing that matters is what real people are getting out of it and real world testing results. Let's get to it. Okay, so as we dive into this, I do wanna point out that there's a huge difference in charging an iPad and an iPad Pro. The original Yeti 150 shown there really struggled to charge our iPad Pro. It would charge it extremely slow and by the time it was done charging, it would be dead. All right, so getting into what this thing actually does. So the Yeti 200X, I can confirm 15 phone charges out of it. Two charges on my iPad Pro, very impressive. Again, that takes a lot to charge that. Six charges on a normal iPad, and two charges on our Mac laptop, which is slightly older and not very efficient. All right, so this is where we're complete nerds in our house. We're constantly plugging in multiple things at once. We just find it easier to sit this thing next to us and plug into it instead of running wires all over the place. As you can see, it does this with no problems, no issues at all, runs them, charges it for several hours, no problems whatsoever. Love that part. Another area the Yeti stands out is its flat surface. As you can see in the photo, you can place what you're charging on top with no issues of it tumbling over. Other brands don't do this. As you can see, they have large handles. All right, moving on into the outlet ports. No issues there. Along the time we've had it, we've bumped it, sat on them accidentally, knocked against. The cords plugged into there and the outlets still function as normal and have no wiggling going on when we plug in. I know, I know, every camper's got its downfall. This is mine. I like fresh beans when I drink coffee. So I bring along a portable grinder, 150 watt grinder. And as you can see, on that video, it has no problem running it whatsoever. It gives me fresh coffee every time. So here we have our little mini camping fan, fantastic fan. I'll be doing a review on that, by the way. I'm able to charge this multiple times or even run it through the night, multiple nights in a row without even making a dent in the goal zero. There's times on a five day trip, I've ran it all the way through the night and still had plenty to charge our remaining devices. Here I'm showing how I powered a one of my lamps with an 800 lumen light bulb. I was able to get 26 hours out of it before the Goal Zero was finally starting to die. On their site for Goal Zero, they do state that you are able to get 17 hours out of an 11 watt, which is the equivalent to over a 1000 watt light bulb. However, for this review, I had an 800 lumen on hand, so that's what I used. Okay, the one and literally only drawback I can complain about this device is that if you plug it in, it does not automatically start charging. You have to press the button above the port you wanna use to turn it on and press it again to actually turn on the charging. Now this may seem ridiculous, but I have had someone that has not used this plug in and then not realizing they weren't charging. All right, so what's the takeaway on this? Takeaway is this, get it. Literally, go get one. Worth every penny I've spent. We've had it a year. It performs just as it had out of the box. It has never let us down. It is the best thing out there when you're camping. There's no fighting over who's charging in the car. There's no worrying about whose phone is dead, whose iPad, whatever, whose camera, this, that, or the other. It will do it all and you'll even get used for it around the house. Props to Goal Zero for making something this fantastic. All of their other products are fantastic as well. Well, that just about wraps up that review. I can't end the video without showing you one of our trips, Utah Capitol Reef National Park. Get your gear, get out there, and enjoy God's beautiful creations. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.